Now, with Cyberpunk having a mature rating for depictions of blood and gore, intense violence and nudity, I have seen many people asking the questions of, will I be safe to post video content or stream this game? Today, guys, I'm hoping to help you find your answer. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ and if you enjoyed the video leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe. Also a week before this game's release on November 19th I am giving away copies of the game. To be in with a chance of winning one, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below. So Cyberpunk is a rated 18 game. It contains numerous scenes of blood and gore. And even though these ain't really a problem with most platforms in terms of posting content on it, the nudity within this game might be a different story. Because quite frankly, it's everywhere. It's on billboard adverts, to naked people walking down the street, strip clubs and wow parlours. The game has it all. And I mean, with us and the first thing we do is create our own character and considering it's been confirmed you can adjust every part of that male and female body from the get go of playing this game. Covering it in videos and streaming it, it's best to know what you can and cannot show. So let's start with Twitch. Now after researching the highs and lows of the internet, I found many instances of well other similar situations of game nudity being okay to stream as long as certain criteria are met. So you can see on screen now, Twitch's terms of service on the matter. And well it's kind of a weird one here because what it actually states here within its TOS it seems that we should be fine as long as certain rules are followed. So what they state and what you need to take note of. Because streaming games such as Cyberpunk it falls under the category of nudity and sexual content in embedded media and games. So. In embedded media such as videos and images, nudity and pornography are prohibited. In some situations we may make exceptions on Twitch owned and operated channels for content that is rated by a ratings body or otherwise pre-screened by Twitch. Prohibited sexual games and game modifications. Games featuring nudity, pornography, sex and sexual violence as its core focus or feature are entirely prohibited. Custom gameplay or visual modifications that include nudity or sex content including uncensored patches in otherwise allowed games are prohibited. User generated sexual in-game content. Focusing your broadcast around sexual content or in-game nudity in an otherwise allowed game will result in enforcement action against your Twitch account. When interacting with in-game nudity or sexual content in a permitted game, users may only spend as much time as is required to progress. In addition, users may not engage in simulated sexual activity or erotic roleplay which includes the specific behaviours listed under sexual suggestive content above with other players in online games. Games that primarily consist of user generated content, in game roleplay or interactions in virtual reality are not exempt from this policy. Additional restrictions, conversations about sex, nudity and other mature topics are intended to be educational and otherwise comply with our policies should be marked as a mature content via the respective channel settings. Now it makes sense to me and in reality Twitch are just covering their own backs and you cannot blame them for that. But the major part here in which you need to take note of is when interacting with in-game nudity or sexual content in a permitted game. Cyberpunk will be a permitted game but it's probably best you do check that out before you start streaming this over on Twitch. But users may only spend as much time as is required to progress. In addition, users may not engage in simulated sexual activity or erotic roleplay which includes uh, specific behaviours listed under sexual suggestive content above with other players in online games. Now what this means is, if you are on a mission where such is unavoidable, for instance you have to go through a strip club for a mission, as long as you don't take an extra 20 minutes to look around a joint, you should be fine. Get the mission done, progress is required and don't make an example out of it, you should be okay here. But clearly scenes of simulated sexual activity will not go down well people. Now I have seen myself and have had friends stream games like Metro where nudity is often seen but because it hasn't been made a main focus of the stream things are fine and Twitch don't really take much note of it. And yeah obviously you guys will have to set your stream to a mature audience only, definitely for Cyberpunk and still follow the rules we just spoke about. So yes yeah, streaming on Twitch should be fine as long as the many scenarios where nudity will be encountered isn't a vocal point of your stream. 
Now with YouTube, it's slightly different, but the same rules more or less apply here. As long as content isn't being created, which is gratifying such behavior, you should be okay. But as long as you let YouTube know what's going on within your videos, videos won't necessarily have to be set to an 18 plus. But when it comes to advertising and monetization, the correct things must be picked. For example, under the adult content ad suitability tab, you have three options here to pick. The top one is ticked, you are fine and safe for ads. The middle and bottom, means you get limited ads and the video may be age restricted. But when creating videos on Cyberpunk, adult content isn't the only thing you need to take note of. The inappropriate language tab should also be looked at, as well as the violence tab too, because it is very important and I've learned this myself to let YouTube know what your video contains. Again, both within the inappropriate language tab and the violence tab, the top option is safe for ads. The middle and bottom are not and may restrict the video you're publishing. Now when it comes to YouTube streaming of this game, the same thing applies. Make sure your stream is set to an 18 plus or mature audience only. And make sure all precautions have been taken and don't spend the entire stream focusing on sexual content. And I feel you should be fine. Play the game, progress through situations, ignore what doesn't need to be taken note of and stay clear of well, sexual content. If certain stuff is unavoidable and you showcase it via a stream, I ain't actually Sure what action YouTube will take, but I can see it going a few different ways. Worst case scenario, your channel will receive a community guideline strike, which limits a lot of the features. Also, three strikes and you get terminated. YouTube is a heavily monitored place right now, and while sometimes things you feel wouldn't break any rules actually do, things you think would sometimes don't. All I know is, and the advice I'd give you being a YouTuber, is I'd be very, very careful what you cover when playing games like this, and like I said, sometimes nudity seems to be unavoidable. But to what extent is it unavoidable? Well, until the release of the actual game, we won't fully know. But if I were you, for the sake of your channel, I'd be wary and very careful indeed. I will link both Twitch and YouTube's community guidelines on this matter down below if you do want to check it out for yourselves. And if you want to forward it to a partner and manager to get more information on it, I suggest you do do that because you cannot be too careful people. But on that note, we have come to the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.